in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed your hands and let's bless the name of the Lord tonight oh what a privilege the presence of God is mighty the Lord told me tonight will be an unusual visitation of the spirit the Lord told me tonight will be an unusual visitation of the Holy Ghost the spirit and the bride say come Come on, lift up your hands. There will be an unusual visitation of the Holy Spirit. Pray. Find expression in this place tonight. tonight oh God give us a visitation oh God 
everywhere inside and outside lift your hands and cry for a real visitation <laughs> More love, more power, more of you in my life. Sing more love, sing more power. that we do for Lord we thank you for your glory this is a realm where no sickness can stand no devil of darkness can stand ha ba la ba 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 na 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 just go ahead and pray in the spirit in one minute we cry for a visitation oh God we cry for a visitation Yeah, I'm 
Lord, do not pass me by tonight. I need a visitation. I cry for a visitation. I cry for a visitation. See, Give us a visitation, oh God. a visitation hallelujah hallelujah listen I want you to know that the presence of God is not just about the miracles that happen are you getting my point there must be a visitation in your life that visitation is superior to any miracle that can happen in this place tonight that visitation, let me tell you something, is superior to any healing or any deliverance. When God visits a man, he can never be the same. Even if you do not know that you are supposed to change, when God visits you, not the hand of God, the weight of God, when he's Shekinah, that weight, when you have an encounter, is greater than any miracle. I'm telling you, greater than any healing. So you must desire an encounter tonight. Not just miracles. Not just breakthroughs. An encounter. Say, Lord, take me to a higher level. Take me to a newer dimension. Not just a realm where I get sick and get healed. Take me higher. There is more in God. said call on to me and I will answer I will show you great and mighty things great and mighty things which thou knowest not there are great and mighty things that which no eye has seen that which no ear has heard hallelujah hallelujah my primary assignment tonight listen my primary assignment tonight it's not just to pray for the sick it doesn't take God a big deal to get people healed and delivered and I I understand that there are so many people here with all kinds of burdens we called it a miracle service because we expect a visitation but let me tell you something if God does not have your heart you can be healed here tonight you can be delivered those demons will leave and re-enter back again are you getting my point now? I want your experience tonight to be rich. To be rich as we worship. I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing, let that be your prayer tonight. Lord, I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you. Withholding nothing, withholding nothing, withholding nothing. Listen. Listen, there are many of us who have been oppressed by the devil because we have refused to let go everything. That part that we have refused to give God is the part that has given Satan access in our lives. You stop worrying when everything goes to God. 
there are many people here who are dying of worry you die of worry because you think it's your own when you surrender everything let the owner take responsibility the bible says you have been bought with a price that means everything about your life there are some of us worried no husband no wife why don't you leave the responsibility to the creator of your life and say lord take it all this burden is too heavy for me i'm tired of worrying about things i cannot change therefore i give you everything take the marriage take the sickness take everything everything i give to you withholding nothing withholding nothing withholding nothing we'll sing it without the instruments one more time from the depth of your heart i surrender all to you it's not a special number it's a prayer everything i give to you withholding nothing withholding nothing withholding nothing Take everything, oh God. We're tired of taking responsibilities that are yours. While you are so willing to help us, many times we believe we're in control of our lives, but tonight we repent. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. I'm withholding nothing. Hallelujah. I want to welcome everyone to our miracle service. We trust that God will do great things. It's always a privilege. I thank all who have come, so many inside and outside. The Lord will honor you. Many have traveled from far and near. You will surely have a visitation tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please go around and hug one another. See faces you have not seen before. Greet people and be back to your seat. the Lord hallelujah listen please listen let me just have our attention if you don't have a seat don't worry please let no seat be empty there are people standing outside let no seat at all be empty fill every seat everywhere please those outside some of you can come in feel there's no reason why there should be seats I don't care if it's reserved for who there are seats all around. Please carry the seats. The people should not be standing. Come in. You are very welcome. Find a seat everywhere. If you can sit on the floor, sit on the floor. I'd rather sit on the floor and receive a tangible experience. Please fill every seat everywhere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look at me, everyone. Let me tell you something. You can put the seats. Please keep the seats. Everyone, come and just try to sit. Manage, push, squeeze yourselves. There are so many people than the auditorium. I very soon will be going back to CGC in the name of Jesus. It's bigger, it's better. There's a lot more space for more people to come in. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
when you allow the Holy Spirit to influence your life, please listen. He will make you a sign and a wonder. Never forget this. The meeting has begun. If you can allow the Spirit of God to take over your life. Listen. The Holy Spirit does not want a part of your life. The Holy Spirit does not just want your heart. Hallelujah. I did an illustration in just, and, and I'm going to do it again. Keep playing, please don't stop. Let me have four people, just four gentlemen. And let me show you how our relationship with the Spirit is. Many of us, come on now, any four people. Just stand, just stand this way. I want to show you tonight the secret of experiencing the presence of God and true spiritual power. I don't plan to teach for long and then we'll minister so that we can end very fast. If I have to teach tonight, we'll take the whole night. Watch this. Listen. When God created man, right? God created man such that, please never forget this illustration. If you are interested in walking in the spirit, and walking in true power ever increasing dimensions of God's power you must understand what I'm sharing with you tonight hallelujah this is the image of God this this is a representation of priority towards the things of God hold it sir just hold it this way now listen this is man and all the things that look like priorities to him are you getting my point Every time you stand before principalities and powers and you say in the name of Jesus I rebuke you they will first check if they see that there is this priority and this passion. Hallelujah. Because it so happens that the, your hunger for God and your desire, your priority for him are you getting my point now? Is proportional to the dimension of his presence that you will see in your life there are lots of people that can dress well just like some of you are sitting looking wonderful and then you turn and tell demons the lord rebuke you go away i cast that spirit or be healed and these spirits look and they cannot see the priority of god in you they see all kinds of i'm sorry all kinds of pretense god is somewhere down the line among your activities are you getting my point Maybe this one is your desire to be successful. Maybe this one is your desire to make money. This one is your desire to get married. And then God is somewhere down the line. Yet, you want to experience his power and his glory. Let me tell you, you can sing and say everything you want to say. Lord, you mean the world, you mean this and that. But until God becomes a priority the moment god keeps stepping up i tell you you will become a dangerous wonder because his presence will not only mantle you something will begin to happen to you that will rattle the gates of hell everywhere you go the problem is many people love god but they are not passionate about god they are born again but god is not a priority are you getting my point now? How many of you know that I can love this lady, right? But she's not my wife. Is that true? So I love her, but that passion enough to say I want to spend my life with you. That's how many people are. Today. So they say, Lord, I love you. But when you stand side by side with other things, I am not sure those, those things can go for you. And God says, yet you want my glory. Yet you want to see my manifest presence. There are many of us, it's money. Money is your first priority. Others, is your quest for success. Other people, is whatever kind of issue. Listen, when you come to a powerful meeting like this, the primary assignment of the Holy Spirit is not just to heal you. Are you getting me? As you begin to worship God, something happens in your spirit. Have you heard that song? Be magnified, 
Oh Lord, this is what happens. So in the heat of that worship, as your outer man is dying, there is a shifting in the spirit. Are you seeing that? God becomes a greater priority to you. So suddenly you leave that meeting with a greater passion. But as great as that passion is, it's still not enough. You begin to have encounters, dreams, visions. You begin to see the workings of the spirit in your life. But God looks and says, I'm still not seeing myself. Are you getting my point now? So every time Satan comes, this is what Jesus meant by Satan comes to me and did not find anything. That means before Satan attacks, he will check what in you belongs to me. That becomes his point of attachment to your life. Are you getting my point now? Then you come for another powerful meeting. And while you're singing and hearing the word and worshiping, you come to a point where you say, Kai, this is my hunger for marriage. Although it's an important thing, but you have my everything. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. So you see that there is a transition. Hallelujah. At this point, you begin to see little signs and wonders here and there. God begins to trust you with certain levels of grace. But God still checks and says, I want to do more with you. You may even be ministry at this level. You may be healing the sick at this level. They may be calling you MOG, apostle prophet pastor you may be building churches and cathedrals but god will say if you know what i could do with you if you know what i could do with you you have one thousand five thousand members if you know what i could do i can give you an international anointing that can rattle territories what is this one thing that you are keeping from me what and, and you say lord bless me god says i don't have a problem blessing you can i trust you you say yes god says where is the proof of the trust i'm still not seeing myself in your life and the more you climb the harder it gets because the things that are closer to your heart are the idols and then finally after seasons of dealings with the spirit i will lay down my idols and thrones i have made and all that has taken my heart lord i will bow lord i will bow to you to no other god but you lord mm. and lord i will worship you Nothing hands at me but you, Lord. Listen, when you get to this point, you will see dimensions of grace that will scare you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? This is what it means. Seek first his kingdom. Every time God sees you, he knows that you want to be rich. He knows that you want to finish your education. He knows that you want to get married. But you have said, Lord, as great as these things are. I have come to the end of myself. I have come to the end of myself. I have come to the end of my. And you say, Lord, compared to marriage or compared to your presence, let money go compared to your presence let marriage go compared to everything at that point he has become king of kings and lord of lords hallelujah and that is the realm where before you call he will answer god will trust you with levels of wealth that you never dreamt imaginable God will trust you with dimensions of anointing and power and grace. And men will say, from whence come at this? What we have never seen it in this fashion. But there are many of us, 
We want God to be somewhere in our lives. Please take seriously what I'm sharing tonight. You can go back there, sir. Many of us, God is number 70 something, not even number four. 70 something. There are so many things. Bless my mother. Bless my father. Heal me from the cancer. Do everything. Are they wrong? No. But every time God looks at you, he wants to see the priority. Hallelujah. Listen. There are many ministries. I was sharing with someone yesterday. And the person looked at me. And I said, today, there will be so many people coming from everywhere. Trusting and expecting that God is going to bless them. Hallelujah. The person saw how that people were ringing my phones, doing a lot of things. I was praying. I was spending time in God's presence. And I looked, I said, listen, there is a reason. And I learned that from God's servant, Johnson Suleiman. Hallelujah. I've shared the story with you people. When you get distracted, are you getting my point? And get carried away by ministry and all of these things, the protocol people standing well, the great man of God, Joshua Selman, coming to do his things. Those things are deceitful. Are you hearing what I'm saying? They are deceitful. That's why some people will never enter certain levels of grace. Enjoy the honor, but never let it get inside you. Create a space that nothing can take. Belongs to God. God knows that I love him with all my heart. Let ministry go. Let anointing go. Let grace to heal the sick go. It's not my ministry, it's God's ministry. If I die today, you will cry for one week and say what happened. After that, that's the end of it. The journey continues. When you recognize this, something will happen to you. You will no longer be carried away. Even the anointing, listen, the anointing of the Holy Ghost in your life can become an idol. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The anointing has a compelling effect. When you are healing the sick, casting devils out and doing all of the great things, it's easy to forget that you are under authority and there is one greater than you. There are people tonight, you are not sick, but what you need is fresh fire because you started well. Please don't stop playing. You started well. But as you were going and God trusted you with little levels of grace and anointing, you didn't even know when you left God and started doing ministry. Tonight, you need restoration as a matter of urgency. Some of us, God trusted us with influence. God trusted us with power. Have you heard people tell you, I remember those days. You can't walk to me sick and go back. No. What has happened? Don't let my love grow cold. I'm crying out. Light the fire again. I need your discipline. I'm crying out. Light the fire again. Don't let my love grow cold. I'm crying out. Light the fire again. I need your discipline. I'm crying out. Light the fire. There are some of us here, not only is God not a priority, he's not even in the equation of our life. You have never considered it a factor. How are you getting my point now? Many people run to God like an emergency unit in the hospital. Oh God, the harbor list has failed. Since you are the only one left, you better do something. And you harass every man of God around you as if you paid him to make sure you get healed. But when we get blessed, we run away. Listen, 
I'm saying this again and again. It's not a difficult thing for God to invade our lives. But the question is, can God trust you? Lord, I want spiritual power. Fine. It's available. Can God trust you? Lord, I want prosperity. I want to be a millionaire. Fine. Can God trust you? Lord, I want to get married. Can God trust you? You're not even disciplined as you are. You can't see any lady and go and sit down quietly. You can't see any guy and sit down quietly. Lord, I want marriage. What kind of kids do you want to raise? And God says, it's not a big deal. Can I trust you? Lord, I want a great ministry. Someone was sending me a, a, a text message. And he said, great man of God of our time. Exclamation mark. Then he said a number of other nice things. And at the end of it, you know, he said, oh, this and that and that. And I looked, I said, ah, yeah. He said, I wish to be like you. And I sent him a text. I said, all things are available in the spirit. Can God trust you? This is the question God is asking some of us tonight. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Is it really hard for God to heal you? Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. That's what God is asking you tonight. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. But God is saying, you must get to a point where you love me beyond anointing. Listen, I ring this every time. This is the law of exchange. I taught us two weeks ago. You don't get nothing for nothing. That junk does not exist in the kingdom. There is always something. Your heart. Your life. Hallelujah. Because there are so many of us. When we see the wonderful things that God is doing in this ministry. And we honor God. You cannot imagine how deeply grateful I am. Let me tell you something. As a leader, I account for only very little of the success of this ministry. Very little. I'm not embarrassed by it. There is one mightier than I am. He's the real owner. What you see happening is just stewardship. It will never confuse me. We never confuse roles with God. I have never tried to take his role. The cross is too heavy to kill me. I know when to stand. And allow him do the things that he will. Tonight, God wants your heart. Everybody say, God wants my heart. Yes. God wants your heart. Brothers and sisters, it is not a difficult thing for God to change your story. Read the Bible. And see how God changed people's situation overnight. There are many of us, it was when you got into trouble that you left God. So wrong. That's when you should hold on to him like the woman with the issue of blood. If your challenges make you run away from God, who will you run to? The devil. Hallelujah. It's not enough to watch miracles. There'll be miracles everywhere. There'll be miracles here tonight. There'll be miracles everywhere. Right now. Nobody is doubting that. I told you God said there will be mighty visitations. There'll be impartations. And all kinds of visitations. But the trouble is, will you just leave this place? happy and excited wow it was great did you see the sick person did you see the deliverances 
Did you see the breakthroughs and the word of knowledge and the manifestation of the gift of the spirit? Did you hear the worship team? Did you see the organization? If that is all you live here with tonight, you have cheated yourself. Because there are many of us who are spectators. We are enjoying the euphoria of organization. But tonight you must lose sight of these things. And say, Lord, I have come for business. If you do not change me, I will not be changed. If you do not heal me, I will not be healed. But Lord, take my heart. That's my message. I've been ringing this for years. The Lord told me something years ago. He said, son, if you can let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. Hallelujah. Lord, have your way in our lives. Let this be a true confession. Please take seriously what I'm saying. Especially for those of us who are in ministry. There's all kinds of frustration in ministry. Because many people want power. They want increase. I told you the best way to be in ministry is to get out of ministry. And focus on his presence. That is when you make the loudest noise and the loudest impact. Koinonia will keep rising from glory to glory for as long as our focus is not on the great things don't get me wrong we take time to celebrate what God is doing we appreciate the wisdom and the excellence we appreciate the presence and the leadership of the spirit but let me tell you above and beyond this our hearts we are dead men I can tell you this we have given him everything if God says this is the last miracle service, this is the last koinonia service, there is nothing left, no more koinonia. I will announce it to you as I've had it. I will join you crying, you will join me crying, we'll hold ourselves and walk out of this place. And I'll go back and say, thank you Jesus. What do I do next? Do you love God that much? Can you lay down in quote, the walls that you have spent years building at the request of God can you lay it down you spent years going to school at the end of it God said just keep it and we'll take another turn you say God no way you don't treat me like that I'm a smart Nigerian there's a way I can walk we can patch it up hallelujah there are many of you you have you have refused to get married because God has told you that married man you are doing part-time relationship with break up completely so that God will give you a full-time husband you are saying oh Lord who is going to take care of my needs you are born again but he's not a priority in your life and then you sleep in the night and all kinds of demonic things come and you cry in the name of Jesus and the demons even help you to shout he said let me help you say it louder and you are like Jesus Christ what is going on the name of Jesus is only powerful when it is in the lips of those who are lovers of God indeed. Hallelujah. Koinonia, listen to me. It is never my ambition. Please, I want you to hear this. It is never my ambition to remain, in quote, a superstar man of God who always comes to sit down here comes Joshua Selman, protocol leading him. And I come and I sit down. Wonderful. And the worship team sings. I told you, we, we taught on the ecclesia last week. And I told you that the purpose of the church is to be trained and released to enforce the kingdom. If all we are doing is becoming great men of God and you are not rising, then we are failures even if the wall is clapping for us. The goal is that the least person among us will become as great as David. There is space for everybody in the world. Even if all of us become men of God, there are enough sinners to occupy everybody. There are enough sick people to occupy everybody. But the problem is, will God have your heart? Sister, 
if you can give God your heart, there is nothing he cannot make out of your life. Yes, you graduated with a third class. You know, humanly speaking, that in Nigeria, that third class may not give you a job. You go for an interview, you are embarrassed. You don't even want to show your, your result because you see rows of first class students, genuine first class students, and you are wondering, and Lord, the Lord is saying, can you give it to me? Give me that certificate and see what I will make out of your life. Lord, help me trust you. Help me trust you. What makes us believe that you, you, you are destroyed when you come to God? There is an ugly theology flying around the church. That theology that God makes failures out of people who love him. I tell you, it's not true. The temporary moment of suffering and constraints may be there. Romans chapter 8 verse 18 says, I reckon that the sufferings there will be constraints. It's not going to be a landslide movement. But if you can wait, you will rise like the eagle and you will astonish men. Lord, we want to see your power and your glory in our lives. And so we seek you. If God does not give you a job, no man can give you. No herbalist can give you. No Godfather can give you. If God does not preserve your life, even if Boko Haram does not bomb you, have you not heard of people who sat down quietly in their house and a truck came and carried everybody? If the Lord has not been our help, now may Israel say, I will not be afraid of 10,000 of people that set themselves against me round about. I lay me down and I slept. I wake for the Lord sustains me. But thou, O oh Lord, and a shield for me my glory you lift my head but thou oh lord and a shield for me my glory the lifter up of my head tonight God is calling on us everybody listen to me inside and outside would you make God a priority win the war in your heart this night and let God become your priority what is it that has taken his place I know you are sick in your body but tonight there are women here there are mothers there are people here fathers you saw the glory of God in the days of your youth. But the pain of Nigeria has drifted a lot of people away from God. For me to leave God is death. He has become my obsession. Has nothing to do with ministry. You love God. But if that guy should stand side by side with God, you would choose him. Hallelujah. I want you to see the power of God. We are going to soon stand up and we'll have a few minutes of prayer and worship and we'll just let God, I tell you, there will be a mighty visitation in this place tonight. The Lord told me this, there will be a mighty visitation. Hallelujah. But the Lord is calling you. He's calling you deeper. Deeper, deeper, deeper. He's calling you deeper, 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 deeper. He's calling you deeper, deeper, deeper. Hallelujah. Where is 
God? MOG, where is God in your ministry? Somewhere behind. While ministry programs and conferences and conventions have taken its place. Businessman and woman, where is God in the equation of your life? Prospective husband and wife, where is God in the equation of your life? Students, where did you keep God? This is Chem 3 1 something, sociology something something. This and that, and Jesus Christ is somewhere roaming around. Needed like a herbalist when the going is tough, and then you return him back. Tonight, may an addiction for the things of God come upon your life. Please listen to me. This is the realm that when you walk in, no power in existence can prevail over you. Challenges are okay. Defeat is unusual for a Christian. Hallelujah. Many of us have come here tonight because you are hungry. Some of us have come because we are at the end of our road. Someone just invited you and said you have tried everywhere. You've gone to Zaria City. You've done everything. Why don't you just come to God? And you dragged yourself here and said, well, Lord, let's see what happens. I tell you, you are in for a shock tonight. God will beat you above and beyond your expectation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bless you guys. Rise up on your feet, everybody. We are going to pray. Just two prayer points. And then we'll worship. Lift your hands and lift your voice and begin to prophesy. Take everything, oh God. Come on, pray now, everybody. Take everything. Take everything. My life belongs to you. Take the talent, oh God. Take the talent. Take the gift. Take everything. Pray from the depths of your heart and say, Lord, in any way, in any way, I have allowed other things to take your place in my life. Tonight I repent. I repent, oh God. I repent, oh God. I repent, oh God. Pray from the depths of your heart. Many of us have never given our hearts to the Lord. You've gone to church. You have a Christian name. But you've never given your heart to the Lord. It's not enough to see power. It's not enough to see miracles. Hallelujah. I'm going to make a very serious altar call right now. I don't want you to sit down thinking about it because I know there are people. There are people here tonight, inside and outside. Probably you followed someone and you came. Probably you are struggling with a sickness or a terminal disease. The doctor has given you the letter and said you have a few months to live. It all starts with Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. There are two sets of people I'm going to call. And they will all come at once. Those who have never made a decision. Don't deceive yourself tonight. I don't care whether you are a pastor. Whether you are a pope. You've never given your heart to Jesus. To say Lord. I, I surrender my life truly. And then there's the second category. Those who are saying Lord I'm tired of lying to myself. I know that this thing I'm doing is not Christianity. I need a fresh start. People have told me it's all right. I want to make my way right. Yes, you have come out once. You even prayed for. You even fell down under the anointing. But you are saying, Lord, I'm rededicating my life tonight. Those two categories of people, as I 
as I count one to ten, I like you to run like you're running away from fire right now, inside and outside. One, two, run like you are running for escape. Run like like there is fire burning, and it's a matter of urgency. Forget about your friends. Forget about who is looking at you or who is not looking at you. This is the key to a glorious destiny. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. I don't care what you have done. I don't care what you have done. I don't care who is castigating you. Jesus is ready to give you a new beginning tonight. Everything I give to you withholding nothing. Don't sit back there when the Holy Ghost is asking you to come out. God is still telling me that he's talking to people. God is still speaking to people. Many people inside. Many people outside. Forget about your friend. This is a destiny decision. I surrender all. I surrender all to you. Everything. Those of you in front here. Begin to open up your heart to the Lord from the depths of your heart. Cry out your heart. Say, Lord, enough is enough. Withholding nothing. Come on, sing it one more time. I surrender. I give to you with holding nothing, with holding nothing. Will you give your heart away? That's what God is asking you to those of you in front. Will you give your life away so he can use you? Will you give your life away so he can use me? Lord, I give myself away. Pray. Don't let your tears stop you. You may cry, but pray. So he. One more time, everyone. I give myself away. Give myself away. So you can use me. I see some of you crying. I see some of you under heavy demonic oppressions. But let me tell you, this is the best decision you have made tonight. It's never too late to start. I don't care what you have done. Listen. Listen. Listen to me. I want you to know, those of you here, it is never too late with the Lord. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He won the victory. He gave you the victory on the cross. Jesus said it is finished. There are many things happening in your life. And the solution is not to go and try to solve it some other way. You must make up your mind and say from today. Hallelujah. You must be determined from your heart. That's how it starts. Hallelujah. You have won the Come and worship with me. Hallelujah. You've won it all for me. You have won. 
all in all for me. Just that part, one more time. Hallelujah. 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 You have won the victory. your hands those of you in front I'm about to lead you to a very serious prayer you're not reciting a poem we are about to depopulate the kingdom of hell right now never forget this day for as long as you live some of you are rededicating your lives some of you are giving your heart to Jesus for the first time I don't care what category Say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I surrender my life to you. I repent of my old ways. I accept the free gift of eternal life. I receive it in my spirit. And I declare that Jesus is Lord of my life. From today, I go forward ever and backward never. Satan, stay away from my life. I've made my choice. Jesus is my Savior. I've made my choice. Jesus is my Lord. Father, preserve these ones in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let this not be an emotional decision. Let it be a sincere decision from the depths of your heart. And I break the power of sin over your life. The weight that doth easily beset you, I crush it right now in the name of Jesus. I release you the righteousness of God is at work in your life. And for those of you who have come sick, I'd like you to relax and watch the mighty one step into your life. Hallelujah. Now, in one minute, you will come back. We're about to start the healing session right now. So please, just walk this way. Follow the ushers. They'll just have your details and you come back quickly and join us in the service. Celebrate them, everybody. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Young and old alike. Lift your hands, everybody, and say, visit me. Visit me. Visit me. Pray in one minute, everyone. Lift your hands and say, Lord, the time has come. I'm tired of this sickness. The time has come. I need a prophetic word that will take me to the next level of my life. Please pray. Pray and say, Lord, visit me. Visit me. Please, ushers, be fast with them. Be fast with them so that they can return back. Everyone begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Just begin to pray in one minute. Hallelujah. 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 There is nothing we can do without you. Jesus, reveal yourself in a mighty way. Let the sick be healed, O God. 
So many people are here trusting God for all kinds of miracles, breakthroughs, marriages, jobs, healings and deliverances. Lord, we thank you for that which you will be doing. Be glorified. Be glorified. Be glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Sorry about the congestion um, protocol and ushers. Please walk together to make everything fast. Hallelujah. Before we start the healing session, I just want to do something very quickly. It's Mike's birthday. Come here, Mike. Hallelujah. I told him I was going to give him a surprise. Hallelujah. Celebrate him. A lovely music director. Hallelujah. Mike, we love you. God bless you. Stretch your hands and prophesy. Ask the Lord to make him better than he is. Very faithful worker. Pray and bless him. We speak over your destiny in the name of Jesus. You will never be small. We speak over your life. You will do mighty things. Because of you, the worship team will step into a greater dimension. Hallelujah. I hear in my spirit greatness, greatness, greatness. The Lord is bringing you into prophetic seasons of greatness. This new season is a greatness, is a, is a level of greatness and prosperity. You will enter a level of financial prosperity that will surprise you and will surprise all around you. The Lord is determined to do it. Bless his hands, O oh God. May this be so in his life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please lift your hands. The power of God is strong in this place. Lord, we give you praise. Visit us, O God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Visit us by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let your healing virtue, let your grace, let everything that you have, let the dense weight of your person come upon us in mighty ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, my go and help me. Just play the keyboard for me. And then let's trust God for a great time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is starting tonight's meeting in a very strange way. Instrumentalist, let's walk together now. Hallelujah. Please hurry up as soon as you get down your name. Just return. There will be a very mighty impartation in this place. Hallelujah. Not deliverance, impartation. God is going to be moving in a very strong way and is going to be bringing strong impartation upon people. It's going to be a wildfire of the spirit. Hallelujah. Strings, please. Exalted high above the worship of the people of the earth. I see the Lord, I see the Lord, for my eyes have seen the King. He's a lamb upon the throne, lamb upon the throne, who reigns for Please, everyone, lift your hands inside and outside. Lift it as high as you can lift it. Lift your hands. 
Listen. Listen, please. The Spirit of God is in this place. Hallelujah. And the angels of the Lord, please don't stop playing, are in this place. This is a very, very prophetic moment. Now the Lord is going to be moving from inside and outside. And he's going to be separating certain people. This is not deliverance, although that can happen. This is a heavy impartation. The weight of God is about to mantle people in very strong ways. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Father, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. All those who belong to this category in the name that is above all names, lift your hands. My God, Lord, at the count of three, let there be a wild move of the spirit. One, two, three, shekete, rekete, teketa, no kete, lekete, rebos, outside. Bring them out. Bring them out. Touch an impartation of fire. Let there be a separation. Separate them, O oh God. Separate them, O oh God. Outside, the power of God is falling now. Outside, is hitting men right now. Like a tornado. Outside, outside. There are angels outside. The power of God is falling like a wildfire. A separation, a separation. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. It's a separation, a wildfire. Let it engulf them, oh God. Let it burn. Let the call from the throne. Let the call from the throne. Let it come upon visitors. Lord, those who are visiting in Koinonia, may they take the fire now. May the visitors take the fire now. Yeah, 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 yeah. There are angels outside. I tell you, there is a move of fire all across the first overflow. At the back, the overflow at the back, outside. The overflow at the back, outside. The fire of God is falling. The overflow at the back, outside. The fire of God is falling. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. An army rising up yeah, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There's an army rising up, come on. There's an army. They will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Lift your hands. God is not done yet. I told you there will be a visitation. Listen, at the count of three, many people will enter visionary experiences. Right now, vision, vision. One, two, three, take it, take it, vision, vision, take it, 
take it vision I open up prophetic realms take it take it vision 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 hey, 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 hey. step into realms of vision prophecy vision prophecy I ignite fire Hallelujah. Visions. 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 Look at me. Look at me. Take it now. Take it to la baba. In this row, an angel is walking in this row. This row now, now. This row. Take it. 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 Take it now. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising. They are rising up. To break every chain. Hallelujah. HOD, step into new levels of grace, two of you. Take it. Take it now. Goodness. The power of God is strong upon me. Gande la kata te kata. Rakata bande brende keta. Sopro te pente ke. Rekete skete. Rekete. 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 Rekete te te. A protoscope rekete, rekete. The hand of the Lord is upon me. The hand of the Lord is upon me. Reposkete da. Let the Spirit of God move in power. Break chains. Kete kete le ba 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 ba. Eke re 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 mau. Eke te protoscope ba ba ba. It will break every chain, break every chain, they will break every chain. There is a road that the power of God is moving outside. There is a road outside. It will start with a lady. There is a lady right now under the power of God and it will follow to that road. Open the floodgates of heaven, O God. Hallelujah. All of you in this front row, just hold your hands. Just this row looking at me. Hold your hands. Lift it up. Father, 
let it come like a mighty wind take it now 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 soto preteketeteja repeteketeteteba som preteketala ba 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 let it come like fire yeah someone Sarah Sarah just leave them don't worry don't don't scatter what God is doing. hallelujah God is bringing deliverance to your family hold my hands it ends now 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 be delivered I cast that devil as that devil by the fire of the Holy Ghost hallelujah we will have a visitation tonight lift your hands I want to call spirits that are responsible for marital delay every spirit wife every spirit husband many of you will be surprised at what will happen to you some of you are already out you came out for impartation lift your hands at the count of three the fire of the spirit will be separating men every devil causing delay in marriage at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus lord as they shout jesus i expose every devil and it leaves them forever are you ready now one two three be free now now I call spirits I call spirits marital delay I call spirits every marital delay I cause you I open doors of marriages now Doors of marriage be open. Every spell, every enchantment, every act of divination. Right now, I set you on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire now. I challenge altars, I challenge thrones, I challenge spells. We break every chain. We break every chain. We break every chain. We break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Let her go now. Go. Let her go now. Go. Be free. Lay your hands on your stomach. God is setting you free. The devil must let you go. There's someone in this room where I'm standing. The power of God will come upon you now. Somebody in this room, a strong anointing will come upon that person. Please speak that person right now. It's coming by the power of the Holy Spirit. There's one person. It's a deliverance fire. It will fall on you right now. Right now. Right now. 
right now pick the person hallelujah hallelujah I'm seeing someone holding like a child outside who is that person the Lord is showing me in a vision please pick them inside I'm seeing someone it's like you're holding is it a child I'm seeing is there such person like that please who is that come 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 please save time we have to minister to other people there's this lady standing close to you that lady yes with white head tie my dear is that lift your hands where you are visit her now oh god now by the power of the holy ghost i cast that wicked spirit in the name of jesus listen those of you here just lift your hands lift your hands at the count of three i want you to shout jesus there will be a wild move of the spirit because i see a lot of demonic oppressions are you ready now one two three let the power of god move move right now move right now move right now i cause every power i cause every power bring them in go now to break every chain who brought her what's wrong with her this is demonic oppression look at me look at me look at me is she okay she's not okay look at me hold my hands satan let her go now look at what is happening are you seeing this look at the spirit tormenting her let her go let your legs be stretched now look at what is happening to the legs is the camera watching watch this this is the power of god by itself in the name of jesus christ let her go now 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 watch this look at her deliverance out out of her now out 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 i return her back to sanity every madness out of her now excuse me every madness out out never returns i see an altar on fire this is what i'm seeing this is what is responsible let me tell you every altar speaking against everyone tonight it will catch fire this night in the name of the lord jesus christ thank you jesus liver stand up stand up and follow me stand up by yourself and follow me stand up come follow me stand up walk come 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 on, can you sing? I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains. I hear the chains falling. Every madness of the devil has to find his way. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. At, look at what look at what the devil has done to this lady huh? look at are you seeing for meeting look at the things that the devil has done bastardize this lady's life look at me what's your name Leslie. what's your name Leslie. what's your name Leslie. say Jesus. Jesus say I am fine she literally ate her mouth and injured it like that look at you can see where the skin was taken look at me follow me say i am fine, I'm fine. say I'm fine. I'm fine it never returns to you again 
stretch your hands and say it's over this deliverance is over if there is any other person with any sign of madness in this place or any kind of psychosomatism be free now in the name of Jesus be free now in the name of Jesus look at me the demons that torment you have left you and will never return to you again God bless you hallelujah praise the Lord I want to pray for you please take her child this is I'm seeing witchcraft the Lord is showing me witchcraft people will rise in the family when they get to a point something hits them down and that's the end of no matter what happens this is what the Lord is showing me but the Lord is going to bring deliverance please lift your hands because this is I'm seeing a lot of witchcraft my God and my King let this thing end right now because this thing is not just with you alone it's with your family members my God let it end now let it end now even to your husband let her go in the name of Jesus Christ out of her out of her by the power of the Holy Ghost Madam, this is your child. Please hold, hold the child. Where is your husband? Eh? Where is he? He's in summer. What's he doing? We have to pray for him. You know why I asked? I'm seeing the spirit of death. Huh? I'm seeing a man holding, and please, if I'm lying, tell me I'm lying. I'm seeing a man holding like chalk, huh? chalk, writing, as in his writing. Is he a teacher? A lecturer. Lecture. He's a lecturer. This is death coming on him and we have to break it. Are you getting that now? Do you believe it? If you don't believe, I will just leave you before you now turn and say this person. The reason why we say this is because I understand that there are all kinds of perverted visions and revelations and corruption of the prophetic so everybody that seems to reveal something people just think that ah this person has done this and that are you getting my point now i must not see god must not show me what is happening to our husband for him to be delivered i hope you know that the word of god is potent enough to deliver the person you understand but god does these things as a sign and a wonder hallelujah the family is about to be delivered right now in the name of the Lord Jesus a family is about to be delivered right now be delivered now I'm not speaking out now I hear the chains falling two of you come are you related come 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 two of you yes what's your relationship eh is your boss you are learning to sew in his place don't laugh I don't mean love relationship I mean what's your relationship Huh? because I saw the clothes I'm wearing on you suddenly are you getting my point now God is just delivering people out let her go our uh, ushers you are still not exempted be doing your work and be sensitive anything can happen to you be doing your work and be very very please everybody be sensitive hallelujah I'm going to pray for you you will experience dramatic increase in the name of the Lord Jesus hold your hands together there's witchcraft in your family. Wait. 
Yes, sir. True. There's everybody. It's not like every. This is death. This is delay marriage. Wait now. Calm down. God is going to set you free. Huh? Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Try to look at me. Do your best. Do your very best. He's unable to look at me just because it's an instruction. It's not like it's any herbal thing. God is setting you free. A habit is leaving you and a curse is leaving you. You look at me. Do your best. Lord, I attack witchcraft to its root. Out! Something's moving, something's changing. See it feels like heaven on earth. Something's moving, something's changing. your husband in the name of the Lord Jesus every spirit of death by the blood we command that you leave him in the name of Jesus none shall die in the name of Jesus Christ come sign up it's time for God to step into your family run and come see I don't need to call you just connect by faith God is already touching people and families. Are you getting my point now? Financial increase is coming to your family. Take it now. Financial increase. Mighty increase. Coming to your family. That's what the Lord is telling me. Mighty increase. I break the limitation. The same thing is happening to that lady. That's why this is happening. Every other person, oh God, that you are bringing financial increase. I know everybody will be touched. Listen, when God does one and you see other people reacting, it's because it's the same prophecy. So let's just maximize what God is doing. Lift your hands. Father, everyone who belongs to this category, at the count of three, may the anointing to make it happen be released. One, two, three. Take it now. 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 Financial bondage. Broken. Outside. Broken. This is a cause of hardship. In the name of Jesus, let her go. I release her and her family. Out! Out! That cause of hardship. Out! The Lord is bringing increase for your father. I'm seeing traditional things. These are herbal things I'm seeing in a shrine. The Lord is taking them away and bringing serious financial increase to your family. Lord, confirm your word. I've spoken as you have shown me. Let it be confirmed in the name of Jesus. This is your baby. Please give somebody hold the baby. Take away this garment of shame over your life. In the name of Jesus. This garment of shame. Go! Be 
be set free, be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Who is Eunice? Eunice. 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 The Lord is ministering to me. A lady called Eunice. Who is that? Please, if it's your name or someone related, we have to save time. Eunice. Gabriel, 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 Gabriel. I'm seeing the last digits of a GSM number. Two, two, one. Two, two, one. That's the last digit of your phone number. 221. Who is that? You are the one? Do I know you? Okay, Gabriel. Okay. 221. Please, if that is yours, just come out. 221. The last digit. 221. Please verify. Don't come and tell us lies here. 221. That's what I'm seeing. It's like something covered the rest and I'm seeing 221. If that is yours, please come out. Gabriel, can I pray for you? Stand up, please, sir. What do you do? I'm an artist. Is that the only thing you do? Final department. Okay. I want to pray for you. Because what God is showing me, I'm not seeing you drawing. Huh? This is, this is business I'm seeing. You Look at me. Do you believe what I'm saying? I want to pray for you because things are tight for you right now. You're just looking, but things are not are really, really tight. Father, visit him. You called out Gabriel. Receive this visitation right now. In the name of Jesus. Your name is Gabriel too. Who is Adamu? Huh? He's a man in Kano. What? A man in Kano. Where do I know Adamu from? What's your relationship with Adamu? We work together. We work together. Is he a nice man? No. He's a wicked man. God is bringing justice to you. Hold my hands. Look at me. Have I met you? Do I know you? How do I know that there's a relationship between Gabriel and Adamu? Do you believe that God is setting you free? Father, like it was for Jacob and Laban, let there be justice. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may there be mighty justice. Look, let me tell you, your life is about to change. It will shock you. Huh? But your relationship with God, did you, did you rededicate your life here? Do your own now. You are supposed to come out. Why did you stay back? This is what is giving legal access. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Lift your hands. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I'm serious with my relationship with you. I make up my mind to stop playing games. From tonight, I'm a genuine child of God. Women, out of his life. Every spirit of immorality, lust, and every related thing I cause you, be free. My God will give you promotion that will honor you and lift him in Jesus' name. Why are you here? Why are they here? What next? Eh? All of you are Eunice. Is she married? God is visiting your family. Out! There is a garment of shame God is taking away from your life. Huh? You are a lady, boys, like you are a man. Nobody is coming to you. Nobody cares. Nobody is even saying your hair is fine. We have to take this in a way. Look at me, my dear. It's not normal. We have to curse it. Lord Jesus, help this lady. Now, I restore that glory in the name of Jesus Christ. I 
won't say it here. But be careful. Huh? You, you understand what I'm saying, right? Do you understand? Please be very careful. The devil comes to steal, kill, and what? Destroy. Hmm? But God shows you mercy and grace. Huh? Lay your hands on your stomach. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be perfection. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is not even talking about you. He's talking about your elder ones. I've seen them. It's because it's the same thing that is happening there. I've taught you people. Bring out. Lord, let it be over now. Lay your hands on my hands. Just lay your hands on my hands. It ends. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. I appoint unto you a season of liberty. In the name of the Lord Jesus. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beauty for ashes. What is happening to you is happening to her. At the same time. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beauty for ashes. The same thing that is happening to her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is going to do something strange in this place right now. All of you from Kogi State, lift your hands. Just lift your hands. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Lift your hands. This is a very strange instruction. There will be massive deliverance right now. Follow me, instrumentalists, please. At the count of three, this is a territorial deliverance. Lift your hands, please. Follow me, instrumentalists. One, every altar. Catch fire now! Catch fire now! Catch fire now! Shake it, 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 it. outside! I command the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. All the children that have been buried, the blood. Lord, in Kogi State, as you have shown me. Every Kogi person, every altar against your life, catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Bring them out. Bring them out. Deliverance. Every altar, the children that have been buried, I command the earth, share in the word of the Lord. I come with an apostolic territorial mantle. Let there be deliverance. Massive deliverance. Now. Now. I'm seeing snakes. I'm seeing snakes. All kinds of snakes. All kinds of snakes. This is what I'm seeing. They catch fire now. They catch fire now. Every serpent. Every devil. I speak to shrines. I speak to altars. I speak to covens. By the anointing of the spirit. For the spirit of the Lord. Tonight is upon me. I challenge you. 
I command an exodus, an exodus, an exodus. You will hear testimonies. They will carry the dead bodies of men. Those who are found, they will carry dead bodies of witches and wizards that will not let you go. I command the vengeance of God. Let the dagger of judgment fall upon every shrine let the dagger of god's judgment i command it if i be an apostle of god i command it Hallelujah You have won the victory Come on, lift your hands and worship Hallelujah You have won it all for me You have won Everyone who is sick, lay your hands there right now. For time's sake, we may not have everyone come on, but lay your hands. Something miraculous will happen in this place right now. Wherever you are, lay your hands. Some you're laying your hands, but what is if it's in an area that you cannot lay your hands, just lay your hands on your chest hallelujah now listen listen the moment i pray for you the power of god is already healing people right now check yourself the moment you find out that the miracle is happening to you maybe not everybody just run out and come and stand here there will be an explosion of miracles you must celebrate what God is doing. Aya. Nente tatalaba. Selekete le bambre tinamaya. Who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass. When my God has not established. Hallelujah. Lay your hands now. And while Jesus was teaching. The power of God was present to heal. The Bible says, and when the even was come, they brought unto him all that were sick and crippled and oppressed. Please take it serious. This is a miracle service. We don't fake it in this place. A miracle is about to happen. As I begin to command, please check yourself. Start doing what you could not do. This is the point where your faith is needed. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, and by the mystery of the blood that pays the price for the ransom of anything in the spirit, the blood is a receipt that can pay for anything in the spirit. And Lord, I pray right now, as I begin to declare, I want you to shout a loud Amen. Miracles are already happening. In the name of Jesus, blind eyes, be open now. Blind eyes, every eye condition, be healed now. Be healed now. Every kind of deafness, complete or partial deafness, be healed now. Be healed now. God is touching people. Peptic ulcer. Be healed now. Be healed now. Peptic 
altar Baptic altar you will feel like fire burning on your chest right now that's altar being healed God is healing altar altar you will feel fire burning on your chest altar is being healed right now I give you the praise I give you the praise I give you the praise lump in the breast lump in the breast the right breast lump in the right breast is being healed now lump is being healed now I cost that spirit I cost that spirit by the prophetic word this lady is going to start coughing things out she's going to start coughing things out right now she will start coughing things out hallelujah hallelujah migraine headache every kind of migraine be healed now be healed now be healed now every respiratory condition someone is going to feel something jump out of your chest now every respiratory condition heart condition breathing problem i command the spirit leave now leave now those outside make sure you are connecting leave now in the name of jesus there are so many ladies with so much pain even if you are not on your period your stomach i cause that pain together with all kinds of menstrual pain menstrual pain of all sorts go now go now go now menstrual pain is of the devil i don't care what medicine says go now 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 irregular period the lord is healing that now right now there's a lady you've been on your period for two months non-stop it dries up now now and there's a lady from november last year you don't need to come out from november last year you've only seen your period twice in the name of the lord jesus i restore order to your body now i restore order the power of god is moving to this effect i restore order now now hallelujah please begin to check yourself begin to check yourself a tooth problem has been healed i give you the praise lord a tooth ache tooth problem serious tooth problem the lord is healing it right now right now right now right now lord let every healing every healing hallelujah now i really want to conserve time I'm just thinking since Pastor Jake is here, we can lay hands faster on the sick. Do I need to call the sick to come out? Is that a good idea? Answer now, let's work together. Because I know there are people you are still not satisfied. Okay, please and please, if you've been healed, just stay back. Especially for our guests who are coming here for the first time. And then a few others. If you check your body and you see that you are still sick and you need the touch of God, please come out and line up. Thank you, Jesus. Washington. Rain is falling down. Healing rain is falling down. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Thank you. 
Who brought, who brought our daddy? He came on his own. He came on his own. What's wrong, sir? Difficult in walking. Difficult in walking. Your leg? What happened, sir? I just feel, one day I just feel like they are past me. I can't weak. Your leg is weak. I'm going to pray for you, daddy. And Jesus will heal you right now. Hold my hand, sir. Don't worry, just sit down. Thank you, Jesus. The power of God will start moving your leg. Lord, thank you for healing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I curse that spirit. You see something happening to your leg? You're feeling something happening to your leg, right? Yes. The power of God is moving. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of the Christ of God. Daddy, look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, stand up. Come, come, come. Help him, help him. This is stroke. This is stroke. In the name of Jesus, I curse it. I curse it. I curse it. Sir, at the count of three, lift up both of your hands. One, two, three. Just lift your hands. Lift your hands. That stroke hand, I curse it in the name of Jesus. Daddy, try walking. Come. Hold my hands. Follow me. Come. Come. Look at me. Look at me. Come. 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 Just turn. Turn. By yourself. Just do what I'm doing. Do what I'm doing. Come on now. Look at God giving a miracle. In the name of Jesus, are you seeing the power of God now? Go ahead, Daddy. The devil is a liar. Say. Not only has God healed you, Daddy, God is going to restore to you every worm has eaten, everything the Palma worm has eaten. Because the Lord is showing me that the enemy would have taken your life first week of October. They would have buried you first week of October. This is what the Lord is showing me. But in the name that is above all names, four years, four years now, for four years, this has been. The devil had wanted to destroy you. I'm saying first week of October, they would have buried you. But in the name that is above all names, the Bible says the heaven of the heavens belong to the Lord. But the earth has he given. So all earth, I forbid you from taking this man's body. In the name of Jesus, he will live long. He will live strong. And for every one of you praying for him, may your family members live long. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Daddy, we are going to walk one more time. Look at, look at. He's so excited. To the shame of the devil. To the shame of the devil. To the shame of the devil. Come on, walk again, Daddy. Walk. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please take him to his seat. The Lord perfects him in the name of Jesus. Worship him. Help us. Let's save him.
You are not the only one. All the people in your family that came, come and stand here. This is witchcraft. Come and stand here. This is not sickness. What a mighty God we serve. Please hurry up. Just save our time, please. The creator of heaven and earth. Set the whole family free. Kai, this is witchcraft. Acute witchcraft. You know you need a miracle, right? Huh? You came here trusting God. Huh? What did the doctors tell you? Wait now. I need to pray for you. Huh? The leg issue is a simple issue. If I don't pray for you, they are going to diagnose you with cancer. Huh? Cancer of the breast. Cancer of the breast now. It's cancer. This is what I'm telling you. If we don't destroy it now, this is cancer of the breast. It's witchcraft. Huh? It's okay. Don't cry. Please. Please. We don't have handkerchief here. Handkerchief. Oh, please. Madam, listen. The, I told you he's dead. Where is, where is your husband? husband is dead. Your husband is dead. Where is your mother? My mother is dead. They, uh, wait, I'm showing you that this is witchcraft. They want to kill everybody in your family. Huh? They want your son. Where is your son? My senior brother. Wait, who? He's paralyzed completely. If there is a God in heaven, hear me. If there is God in this place tonight, your deliverance comes. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Hold my hands. Jesus, change their story. Let the speaking blood speak right now. In the name of Jesus, I break the chains of witchcraft. Please help this woman with a handkerchief. Anybody, anybody, please. Free! Now! Madam, if there is a God, you will return back to this place to testify. I 
cause cancer now 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 out of her body by the power of the holy ghost cancer dies now together with the leg issue your leg will start moving now supernaturally by itself your leg will start moving under the influence of the spirit and that evil thing upon your leg leaves you forever baby hold my hands Look at this innocent girl look at this girl where's the camera when you look at this girl you see a walking corpse do you understand i'm seeing a coffin in the spirit they have finished this girl since last year this girl you are seeing jesus said i am the resurrection and the life jesus said it is there anything too hard for me to do. I am that I am. Father, change this girl's story. I bring you out of the valley of the shadow of death in the name of Jesus Christ. Out now. Out now. Out now. In the name of Jesus, I change the story of this family now. Whatever legal access the devil has over your family, we lift up the blood as the price for your ransom. Therefore, we command your exodus now. The same thing is happening to someone here. Exodus now. Everyone marked for death. I command your exodus now everyone marked for death everyone marked for death i command your exodus now in the name of jesus let's save time thank you jesus free she's in the hospital set her free in the name of jesus
saying she must die who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not commanded it he said no witchcraft no enchantment against Jacob shall stand see don't let all this nonsense voice it's when you don't know who you are I think we are going to sing that song chosen generation we need to shout it to the devil that we are not confused wash it too. are you ready now give us that song Sing anything, even if you don't know the fashion. Just sing the one you know. Are you ready now? Hallelujah. 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 Go 
Don't tempt me in the name of Jesus. Don't tempt me. Oh, to a catching again. Not my fault. Sam is not around. Yeah. Jehovah will give you all the Worship team, drama, be careful in Jesus' name. Hey, if we don't finish here on time, you will sleep here. Oh. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are <laughs> Mommy, be healed. Every planting that is not of God, we uproot it now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, be free. Every growth in your body dissolves and passes out of this body. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Do you have your prayer request? Please start submitting it. Usher, start getting a prayer request. Prayer requests are very important. They are not a formality. If you've not written it, now is the time. Send a text to your loved one. And say, send it fast. There is a God that answers prayers. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. Savior, he can move a mountain. My God is mighty to say, yes, he is mighty to say. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus is great in this place. Please write out your prayer requests. Don't spare anything. Hallelujah. Please, I want to pray. I want to lay hands on all the children. All the little children from age 1 to 10. Just 1 to 10. If you are more than 10, keep them. 1 to 10. Please bring them out. 1 to 10. Mothers, if you are tired, give somebody to hold the child and come with it. Please. Just hurry up. Let's save time while we collect it. Please. If you are not interested, you can sit back, please. Bring all the children. We must lay hands. Ah, that's a baby. Teach me how to hold them. 
before I strangle the neck of this baby. <laughs> Come and hold the mic for me. Let me do serious business here. The baby has small nose like you. Hold on. Baby, we prayed for your arrival. Oh. Every barren woman in this place, stand up. Everybody stand up. Ah! I use Wumi as a point of contact. I'm very serious now. Every family here trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Shaka pata balada bagada ben. Rete le banda brandosko parada balada skependika. God is breaking barrenness. The same God that brought this baby. The Bible says, children are a heritage from the Lord. My God, I pray. I cause barrenness to its root now. In the name of Jesus. Baby, may you be strong. May you grow to be a beautiful and a godly girl. We separate you in advance from destiny killers. Wolves in sheep's clothing. May they never find you in the name of Jesus. All those who are determined to destroy the life of visionary people, they will never find this baby in the name of Jesus. I'm going to lay hands on every one of this child. I want you to help me. If you know that you are a mother or a father, or you plan to be a mother or a father, even if you don't plan, just join us. Hallelujah. Many of you are, especially those of you who are trusting God for marriage this year. I hope you know the year is still young. Is this all the faith you brought for this meeting? Now is the time to believe God and stretch your hands and say, Lord, as you did it to them. I didn't say, come out, oh. Don't worry, immediately I finish. All those who are trusting God for marriage this year, if you think you are bold enough and you are not ashamed, immediately after this, march out and stand. Don't be ashamed of anybody. Don't let anybody look. I'm serious. Hold on. If you know you have a lot to do in your destiny, you are a hundred level and you just come and march out here. Please, we, we are not playing jamboree here. I know there are men of God that do, we are acting based on instruction. Make sure your father and your mother will smile when you tell them you are ready to get married. Don't cause anything that will come and disgrace the name of the Lord. Praise God. All of you stretch your hands. It's amazing. Let me challenge men. I don't see any father standing here. And I, if I remember very well, I know that Mary was the only woman who just gave birth like that without a man. Fathers, men, every gentleman say, say myself behave. Say it myself behave. When it comes to responsibility, many men leave the women. But if the baby takes first, you are the one who wants to go to the school. Ladies, say I refuse. Stretch your hands. Let's pray for them. Every blessing you know you would give your child, release it to them. Pastor Jakes, please, let's lay hands on them. Father, we lay hands on these children. Every spell. Name of the Lord Jesus everything that makes your brain dull we command that you are not dull in the name of jesus christ bring her please in the name of jesus christ baby grow in the fear of the lord in the name of jesus christ hallelujah 
now if you know honestly please don't play games with god here you know that you are trusting god to settle down maritally in this 2014 come out and stand here please we are not playing games i am very very serious about it God is a miracle walker. God is a glorious God. He is a glorious God. God is I know you are a miracle. God is a glorious Sing it one more time. You are ready to marry this year? Are you joking? Eh? You are standing in for somebody. Okay. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. We are young people, but it doesn't mean we are indisciplined. Are you getting my point now? Now look up. I want to say something very important. Some of you standing here are the enemies of your own marriages. Hallelujah. Gideon said, why have we not seen these manifestations? He said, destroy the altars. Any ungodly relationship that you are in, that is stopping your life partner from coming we break it from the realm of the spirit now may that married man never call you again i know you have been getting money from him but the relationship is hereby declared none and void you must choose to walk in holiness and integrity hallelujah there are people standing here that there are powers and thrones please lift your hands and horns that attempt to lift themselves against your marriage you are a very pretty lady but nobody can look at you the moment a guy looks at you and is trying to talk to you something just happens and scatters it there are some of us you are guys you are you are a hard-working and disciplined person but the moment any lady comes to you today she says she's she's serious after one week there are some of you people come and they die some of you have even had introduction and the guy ran away but in the name that is above all names listen this is an apostolic ministry we are not ashamed the bible says i am not ashamed of the gospel every aspect of the gospel that brings freedom we will preach it and we will set people free lift your hands you will be very surprised i said it at the beginning of the year that god told me there will be surprise marriages even people who did not believe and expect listen let me give you a revelation my bible says male and female he created them what and what did he say female and female did he say male and male that means ladies there is a male counterpart for you you believe that i'm going to pray for the man not a man are you getting me not one man meandering around and you say let me manage time is going no you can read a course you don't like and manage for five years and leave you cannot manage marriage lift your hands let's first destroy these altars of Baal. see that ababa get ready because the power of god is about to shatter spells into pieces father everyone here under the influence of any spirit husband or spirit wife or any enchantment in the name of the lord jesus at the count of three may deliverance come to you one two 
decree right now right now right now i cause it i cause it let them go let them go now i release you now i release you now 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 every spirit sitting on your marital destiny i set it on fire now hallelujah now i prophesy to you in the name of the lord jesus father your people have come out because they are ready to settle down in the name of jesus whatever attribute they need to have to become award-winning wives and husbands may it come upon them now in the name of jesus wherever your husband is if he's walking in this earth right now just like boaz located root i call forth your life partner now by prophecy now goodness the power of god is creating a connection right now right now in the realm of the spirit right now in the name of jesus i connect you in the realm of the spirit i break every soul tie i break every soul tie i break every covenant stopping you from marriage right here we are going to hold your wedding card and announce it to the shame of the devil in the name of jesus some of you are ready to marry there's no money god punish the devil in the name of the lord jesus we call for supply the beds that brought food for elijah in the name that is above all names receive divine supply now go and return with your testimony please rise up everybody pastor jakes please come pastor jakes is going to lead us to pray and prophesy on this request listen friends we have a god that answers prayers there are just few minutes and we'll be out of here hallelujah hallelujah please just stretch forth your hands towards this place and communicate with god get go ahead and pray Father, we pray. Rabala baka shi para gale bondo si para bale brega le 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 boko sa. Rakata na na raba si te bale bondo braga la la bari na raba kasanda raba liga de. Riha ta sa para bago dia de bale brega de 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 boko sa ni raba da. In the rakata da ba to para kata bale brega la la bari na raba do bari. Rako to ba ya rakata ni raba na bari na. In the brega le le bondo brago do bale brega la la bari na. Rakata ya raba la ba la bari na bari bari. Rakata ba de bari na raba bari na. In the rakata la ba rapa da la ba raba da. Rakata ba ha cha para ba da. Rakata li ba ra ba 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 ba. In the reke le 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 ba kosi ba la ba da. Rapa to salieta ndo ho. Imanda katoja ila. Barus aliata ndo. Iga boja ila. Raunda as ila paliendo. Resula Italia. Rusa ndo ho. Iamba uada. Wabula ada yondelu. Riamula. Uacha kayuna ma, ua duya ya yambi la, ruma uba ura gala, rusi ada, makondo robo koshi kama. Father Lord, even as we lift up these prayers before you, we ask that the fire of God come. Let the fire come from your presence. Let it come upon these prayers, Lord. Let it rise like incense to you. We release angels of God, angels of God to visit homes, angels of God to visit people in hospitals, angels of finances be released, angels of breakthrough, angels of marriages, angels responsible for salvation, healings for loved ones. In the name of Jesus, we release contracts. We release contracts. We release contracts in the name of Jesus. We speak for it to building projects. Let it arise in the name of Jesus. We speak into dead academics. Let it rise, dead spiritual lives. Let it rise.
grace the grace of God comes upon families in the blessed name of Jesus we speak to barren cases family challenges in the name of Jesus it ends we speak to divorce cases aha Lord for those trusting you for you to bring back their loved ones fathers in the name of Jesus we ask that fathers come back home in the name of Jesus we call for missing people we ask that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth the angels of God bring them back in the blessed name of Jesus and Lord we speak right now into the highway aha Lord for our loved ones traveling right now Lord in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that the hand of God will be upon them the Lord will shield them in the blessed name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth father we give you praise we give you glory for every prayer point here Lord he receives answers in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we pray and the church of God says hallelujah God's servant has prayed we convert this prayer request to testimonies in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ please everybody stand inside and outside please rise something must change in your life right now And Balak told Balaam, he said, go and curse the nation of Israel. And Balaam told him, he said, I have been commanded to bless. And this I have done. He said, I cannot reverse it. Hallelujah. Scripture said, destroy it not, for there is a blessing in it. Destroy it not, for there is a blessing. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. He said, Believe in his prophets, and you shall prosper. I want you to believe that the word that is about to come forth right now can do something remarkable in your life. We've had testimonies indescribable. This is the moment where breakthrough comes. This is the moment where lots of miracles begin to happen. Please lift your head. Hallelujah. He said, weep not. Thou that didst not bear, break forth into singing. Thou that did not have a child, he said, For many are the children of the desolate. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I come under the apostolic unction and I command receive breakthrough now. Breakthrough now. Breakthrough now. I command breakthrough now in every area of your life breakthrough now receive breakthrough now shake it every limit every limit i smash it in the name of jesus whatever has not been working in your life right now in the name that is above all names I command it to start working now. Start working now. Every voice speaking against anyone here that every time you want to move forward, there is a voice. Listen, the Bible says, in six things shall he deliver you, Job 5. He said, yes, seven things. He said in the time of famine you will laugh and you will shall be delivered from the scorching tongues of men in the name that is above all names i command every scorching tongue 
against your destiny be silenced now 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 To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified whatever has stopped your growth whether spiritually or academically the Bible says they that dwell in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God like the cedars of Lebanon will they be fat and flourishing I command barrenness to be over now I cause barrenness now I cause barrenness record to secretary reports complete to survive And Jesus said every tree that has not been planted by my father hallelujah I shared with you last week on the mysteries of the kingdom that there is the mystery of sleep something happens in the earth when men sleep the Bible says while men slept it's not backsliding while they slept an alien came and planted something and went away and people woke up with diseases they did not sleep with in the name of Jesus every foreigner in your body and your life that my father has not planted come out of their bodies now come out of their bodies now by the fire of the Holy Ghost come out of their bodies now hallelujah and the Lord told Moses he says see I have made you a God unto Pharaoh see I have made you a God unto Pharaoh everything that has oppressed your life and has put you under bondage tonight you rise up above and beyond that challenge now In the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah and the sons of the prophet told Elisha he said where we meet with you is too small come let us go beyond the Jordan and the Bible says while they were felling the tree at Jordan the axe head fell and they said alas master for it was borrowed and the prophet said where did it fall and he threw a stick and the earth head began to float I reverse tonight in the name that is above all names every situation over your life that you know only God can change it may that God change it now every situation in your life that only God can change may that God change now change it now change it now said when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we were like them that dream and so said among the hidden the Lord has done great things for them he said the Lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity oh God as the rivers in the Negev I pray let it turn around blessing hit somebody right now let it turn around blessing hit somebody right now hallelujah because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows and the Bible says Esther went in 
and when the king saw her he said esther what would you have me do even up to half of my kingdom everywhere you need to enter for the next level of your life Repoto Soto. we break protocols tonight and we command that god will take you there may my god take you there may my god take you there hallelujah and the man who was crippled from birth he needed a miracle but there was no man to help him and the bible says some people lifted him and tore the zinc and put him it's one thing for men to want to help you but it's another thing for them to vow to help you all the way i prophesy every destiny helper that is responsible for the next level of your life career wise marriage wise academic wise i call them into your life now 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 hallelujah the bible says thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me round about genesis 24 verse 1 and abraham was old and well stricken in age and the lord had blessed him in all things how many things how many things every part of your life that is remaining to align with the all things anointing the bible says naaman second kings 5 was the captain of the syrian army he was a mighty man the bible says but he was crippled i pray every other area of your life that needs the touch of god let that area of your life receive that divine touch now receive it now receive it now hallelujah the bible says is there hope for a tree although it be cut down it said at the scent of water at the scent of water everything in your life that has gone down that you're asking can god take me back to this level again some of you are asking can i go back to the level of anointing i used to function in again can god take me to that level of grace again my god and your god restores all things for you now the lord most high restores all things now may the peace of god that surpasses all understanding rest and abide with you in the name of the lord jesus christ and now i pray for you may the lord bless you may the lord keep you may the lord lift up his face before you may he lift up his countenance upon you and may he give you peace in the name of the lord jesus christ give god praise in the name of jesus Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise, I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain